there, it's E Squared Photography. I'm Erin. And I'm Emily. And we are here to keep things simple and fun. My guess is you clicked on this video because you are thinking about photographing one of your very first weddings. And we are here to give you some ideas of what you need to make sure to include. And make sure to stick around until the end because we have something that is going to help you. By the end of this video today, you will feel much more confident heading into that very first wedding. And for the best photography tips and tricks, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell for notifications of future videos. All right, before we even get into the top five things to remember before photographing your very first wedding, we want to stress the point of planning ahead and getting yourself organized. There's a lot of different pieces and things that are at play when it comes to a wedding. So making sure that you get yourself organized, your thoughts organized, and really have a plan in place you're going to have a successful day. So let's take a look at the five tips we have for you. The first thing that really goes along with staying organized and get prepared is communicate with the bride and groom. And typically we do this right off the bat. We're sending them a really basic questionnaire to understand what they're doing, where they're going to be getting married, all of those little things, but not too many details right away, just to communicate the basics and overly communicating everything that we can think of as far as, hey, we typically are there for eight hours from here to here. And then once the date approaches, we send them a very detailed questionnaire about everything they're looking for, what their timeline is going to look like, if they're going to have a first look, all of those things we're going to gather. And then we typically either have a sit down or a FaceTime with them where we are going to walk through the entire day, the entire wedding with them. We're gonna get um, organized as best we can so we can go into the wedding day prepared and ready to go. Now it's important to go into those meetings or those FaceTimes with a plan in place so you aren't all over the place. So having some notes written down is also great. One of the biggest reasons that we actually meet with our clients and talk to them either on the phone, FaceTime, or in person is because they will be spending almost their entire wedding day with us nearby, and we're also going to be spending it with them. So we wanna to get to know each other a little bit more than just showing up on that very first day. This one might seem obvious, but making sure that you have your equipment ready. Now, you don't need a ton of equipment when starting off for your very first wedding, but little things to keep in mind is you're probably going to want a handful or a couple extra SD cards or memory cards on hand. You're going to want to make sure your battery is charged and ready to go and you have an extra. You might want to think about, do I need maybe a spare camera or do I need anything else to help make the day run a little bit more smoothly? So making sure that you have a list of what you need and then checking it off as you are getting ready for your first wedding. Okay, so like we had said before, communicating with the bride and groom is really important. So one to two weeks before the wedding date, make sure to communicate the wedding day timeline with the bride and groom so then they know what to expect and you know that they're on the same page as you and then they can use that timeline and share it with their bridal party or parents or whoever it might be. Sometimes there's little changes that happen in between the times that you talk. So if you send them that timeline and they've made a slight adjustment somewhere, at least they can now communicate that with you so you aren't falling behind on the wedding day. Another great thing, if it is at all possible for you, is to look and get an assistant to come along with you. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean you need to have somebody who can also be shooting and taking photos. If you can find somebody to do that, amazing and great, but at least to have an assistant to help make sure that your schedule is staying on time, they can help carry around equipment, they can be talking to people and communicating where people need to be. It's always great if you can have an assistant. And another thing is don't forget the details and candid moments. So a lot of times when you're in the middle of shooting something, you're really worried about getting the bridesmaid shots, the bridal portraits of the bride and groom, the family shots, but don't forget when you have those down moments, get those candid shots, get those detail shots because those are really important to the bride and groom. Those are the details that they spend hours upon hours planning for to make sure they're absolutely perfect. So they want those documented 
So taking the time to get those is great. And then don't forget, as nervous as you can be for your very first wedding, is make sure to have fun and relax. Laugh with them, keep things light, try and come with a plan so you do feel a little bit more relaxed but do your best to have fun. So hopefully that was helpful for you in preparing you for your first wedding. Now, if you are new to photography and new to weddings or whatever it might be, you wanna make sure you're ready to shoot in manual mode so you have complete control over the camera. So if you are new to it or you're still struggling a little bit with manual mode, make sure to check out the description below because we have our free manual mode training down there that dives deep into manual mode camera settings, scenarios that you might find yourselves in, and going to show you how we simplify manual mode to make it super, super simple for ourselves and hopefully for you as well. Now, if you enjoyed this video today, make sure to like, subscribe, and share with a friend so we know to make more videos just like this one. And if you don't already, follow us on Instagram at esquared.photography, and we will see you next time.